Today I'm going to show you how to make this spaghetti squash alfredo from Jimmy Moore. It was in his Keto Clarity book and it's absolutely delicious. Okay, so the ingredients are assembled here. I've got one spaghetti squash, also known as vegetable spaghetti in Australia, and then three tablespoons of butter, preferably a grass-fed butter. You're going to need one cup of heavy cream, also known as pure cream in Australia, or you could use coconut milk if you prefer. Two pinches of garlic salt. Now, I don't have garlic salt. I've got garlic powder, so I'll just add a little bit of salt with that. Two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. And just a pinch of dried basil. So we'll start by preheating the oven. 375 Fahrenheit, or about 190 Celsius. All right, so these can be a little tricky to cut. You can try taking a smaller knife and sort of scoring it first on both sides. So you've got a sort of a guideline to cut by. Or just sort of make a little mark in it with the your bigger knife if you like just to give you an idea of where you're going to cut but I recommend you just sort of start by pushing it straight down in there and wiggling it back and forth a bit until you get enough of an area just go around and do that until you get cut around And do the same thing the other side. Go in again. Now the hardest part would be cutting through the stem, so I found I don't do that. I actually cut it all the way around the other direction now, and then just pull them open until the stem side breaks. Until I get close to that stem, then I'm going to stop. And I'm just going to pull it up like this and pull it apart. See how easy that stem breaks away? Then you don't have to try to cut through it because that's the hardest part to cut through. So from here, we're just going to take out the pulp and the seeds. So I'm just going to take a spoon and scoop those out the best I can. Now usually when I cook spaghetti squash, I just rub a little oil and salt and pepper on them and put them straight on the baking pan just like this. Uh, you can go face down as well, but this particular recipe the author has suggested wrapping them in foil, so I'm going to give that a try. And we're going to put them on the pan with the open face up. And I'm just going to place those on a baking sheet and put them in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. The amount of time is going to depend on the size of your spaghetti squash. So check them after about 30 minutes. So I've got a medium-sized skillet to preheat it over medium-high heat. And I'm going to start by melting my butter in there. I'm just going to turn that down to a medium-low now that my butter is melted. And we're going to add in the cream. I've already mixed together the garlic, salt, and um, basil. And our two tablespoons of Parmesan. Lightly mix that all together, and you want to cook this over low heat just so it's a simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. So this has been going for about 10 minutes, and I just wanted you to see how low the simmer is. It's just a really, really low little bubbling going on in the middle, and every so often I'm stirring it up. You can see it is thickening a little bit, and it's already tasting really nice. It's a nice, rich, delicious sauce. Give it a few more minutes. So it's been 40 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn these off and take my spaghetti squash out. I'm just going to use a fork to very carefully lift that foil off there. Just don't get yourself a steam burn. Be real careful there. There you go. And let that cool just for a few minutes till you can handle it to shred them. That's been about 15 minutes, and I reckon that's just about perfect. It has thickened slightly, as you can see, and it's just really nice. So we're going to go ahead and take that off the heat. So all you need to do is just sort of take your fork and just start pulling on the flesh of the spaghetti squash and it'll shred apart into spaghetti-like strands. Just do that and you can go all the way close to the shell and get as much of it as you can. Go around inside of both of those and just keep shredding it. So there's the first half shredded into this bowl and as you can see what you're left with is just sort of a leathery shell. You should be able to get nearly all of it out. Do the next one.
Okay, now for this recipe, you normally are going to use the entire spaghetti squash, um, but I happen to take out about two cups and reserve it for another recipe. So for my purposes, I'm going to use a little bit less, but normally use the whole thing. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add our Alfredo sauce and stir it through. This sauce, by the way, is absolutely delicious. I think you're really going to like it. Now you're just going to stir that sauce all through your spaghetti squash. Now this is just a simple basic pasta alfredo using spaghetti squash instead of pasta and it's really quite delicious just as is but you could do just about anything with this. If you wanted to make it more of a carbonara, put some cooked chopped bacon in it or if you want to make like a pasta primavera, cook some vegetables and add those in at this stage as well. Do whatever you like. It's really really tasty. So there you have it, Jimmy Moore's spaghetti squash alfredo and it's ketogenic and low-carb, high-fat, and uh, just delicious. Give it a try.